What's up, people? This is your boy, Supreme Decisions. And yeah, yeah, it's been a little bit since you heard from me. I had a little bit of go things going on, so it is what it is. Well, today, I actually want to answer a question because I get this question more often than not. And it's one where the conversation shifts to an area where it shouldn't. Because for me, it should be common knowledge, but it's something that you hear often. But there's a question of, does a police officer have probable cause if they say they smell marijuana? Well, here's what happened in this year of 2014. Yeah, 2014. I often tell you that probable cause exists when it's tangible. Tangible means it's something that you can touch. You cannot touch a smell. Now, what happened in 2014, which actually goes along with this, is this thing called the Marijuana Possession Decriminalization Act of 2014. And it went into effect July 17th of 2014. This actually decriminalized the possession of marijuana, even if it's in someone's conveyance. But then there's this thing called the Fifth Amendment, which requires somebody to be protected in their persons as well as their property. Property is extended to the conveyance or your automobile. So, oftentimes they'll use the incident to arrest um, searching. But again, you still have to have probable cause, which only comes from a crime, which only comes from an injured party. Someone you can confront. Remember, confrontational, you have the right to confront your accuser. You know, I keep getting into that, but it keeps running into the same thing. Oh, because I keep reinstating what a crime is. But anyway, one of the things that goes along with this is the incident to arrest generally deals with exigent circumstances. Well, I did a video way back when that dealt with exigent circumstances and I'm actually going to put that up back there but what happens is most of us have no idea what an exigent circumstance is so when there's an incident where you're asked to get out the car there are no longer any exigent circumstances if you are not within arm's reach there's no potential of you destroying evidence if the conveyance is in park there's no potential of the conveyance itself leaving the area without being able to get a warrant. Now, a lot of times what happens is they don't have probable cause and they want to do something within that 19 minute window, um, hence USB Sharp. You know, that people constantly tell me does not apply because they don't understand law. But I'll get into that. I'm going to talk about some other stuff, too, because I often speak about the requirement of or the imposing of federal law onto state issues. And even in Terrible, Ohio, they have to tell you the actual crime. I'm going to go into a federal issue that deals with the knock and announce because it is actually codified. But these are part of those things because if there are no exigent circumstances, if there's not a complaining witness, they don't have probable cause from a smell. They still have to get permission either from you or from a judge. Now, here's the problem. 
Like you, I also have the inability to remain silent when one of these people are standing in front of us. It is what it is. I accept it for what it is. And I love me for me. But we end up saying stupid things like, well, you can go ahead and search. I ain't got nothing. But then we look at over 100 incidents in Baltimore alone, the small city of Baltimore, where drugs or other paraphernalia were planted by multiple officers. Why? Because I speak constantly about this being an act of revenue generation, not an act of law, which is why I never encourage someone to allow the searching. I also even speak about habit evidence. One of my favorite is the fact that I've never consented to a search. Even one of the things that I actually should kind of taught myself and also taught my children was I do not consent. It don't matter what follows behind that. It's just I don't consent. You know, I'm from the show me state. You got to show me what it is that you're talking about. I can't give you anything, especially when you're the one that's doing the service. So it is what it is. I don't mind people doing their job, but they have to do it the right way. What we have to refrain from when we're having these incidents is to become emotional and say, hey, you go ahead and do it then. No, go get the warrant. Go get the warrant because I'm going to go into another video where I speak about the very instance of why I say there are certain aspects of a hired police officer and why I don't have the wherewithal to even allow them to do anything that thinking is involved and I damn sure don't allow someone else to make decisions for me. So the great part about it is understanding a smell is not probable cause based on the Marijuana Possession Decriminalization Act of 2014. So that's all I got for today. You guys can grab your t-shirts. They're on sale. You can also support the podcast. 99 cents, $4.99 or $9.99 on the first of every month. Join one of the tiers. The master class is 100 bucks a month. And we also have multiple phone calls that are done. And they are private entities or private chats and that we have just for the VIPs. So, love you guys. And Supreme, out.